Hi, and welcome to another episode. In today's episode, oh, watch me turn a bad thing into even worse thing. Before we dive into all of this, let me just quickly mention that I did film all of this while having a sore throat, so now I'll have to do everything edited with the comments on top, so hopefully that will still come up as watchable, so let's proceed. After swapping inks, the main problem that I encountered was that the black was missing. The strange thing was, it was missing on the left side on both of the print heads. Now, a fill-up managed to return one of them, but not the other. First things first, make sure your machine is powered off, and I'm also switching it off by the cables just so it doesn't power up for a cycle. Now, in order to access the two screws that we need to remove, that are um, holding the print head cover, we'll need to undo the whole big thing that's held by four screws. Now, the this screw at the top right here is the one to be the trickiest. At this point, I'll be attempting to replace the dampers, two of them, uh, one on each print head. Here you can see a set of two sets of four dampers, the white plastic bits that the cables go into. The dampers are held in place by hooks on either side of the damper and by squeezing them onto the body of the damper you are able to release it. However, the tension on the ink cables is also quite big and that will partially obscure your movement, uh, if you will. Now, this is my first attempt in even doing something like that, so I'm quite um, how do I say this? I'm trying to figure out what everything is, where the connections go, which side goes where, which cables go where, and obviously it's nothing major. Uh, all you do is you undo the, the damper itself, you pull it out, try not to squeeze it or you will leak the ink down the, um, the whole thing. But obviously you align the two dampers one next to each other and you just uh, unplug the ink tubes from one and plug them into the other. After that all you have to do is place it back into the, uh, the damper holder which is on top of the print head itself.
with the both dampers now being replaced it's time to power the machine back on and do a fill up now the there is an option to fill only black if you do a soft fill up but you have to remember that these dampers come in pairs as in colors that go into them in my case i've replaced a damper that represents the black and yellow so if you do just a um, black fill up you will obviously miss uh, filling up the yellow so the only option well I mean there is a, a, a big fill up but I'm going for a normal fill up which doesn't give you any options to choose the colors it just fills and drains all four in my case uh, ancient colors so I've deliberately left the whole process of the machine starting up to selecting the uh, filling up procedures and starting that just so you can compare it if need be to what is going on with your machine so the whole process I'll speed it up um, the parts of it where nothing's changing but overall I can say that this whole procedure takes around 8 to 10 minutes After the procedure has finished, as you can see my machine gave me a check waste ink, oh, it's just how many flushes and everything cleanings I've done, <laughs> oh yeah, uh, I've checked it, it's still there, um, it just tells you that it's over 80% full what the machine thinks, because there's no actual measurement of the whole thing. So if you lower it to 79, that's an acceptable point where it will allow you to actually do the test print and obviously I'll need to empty the tank and actually see what, what's the level of the waste inks in that. So here it is, the very first test print after a normal fill up and a clean that followed automatically by the procedure. Now we can see that on the right hand side both of the blacks are present. The quality of the right print head is questionable and I'm well aware of it, but the left print head is about one year old, uh, more or less, give or take. Uh, and as you've seen there was no black on the left side. So. What I'm going to do is do another fill up, this time it will be a soft fill up with only one ink selected which is uh, black. Here are the results of the second fill. This was a soft fill and as you can see the left hand side print head, uh, the one that I'm actually interested in, is still not showing any signs of black in the left 
portion of it whereas the one on the right hand side has both channels uh, intact the machine's powered off i'm switching it uh, at the switches again so the machine does not power on unexpectedly on me and now I'm reaching behind the print head there is a little plastic hook that you release and then you're able to move your whole carriage away this gives me access to the cap tops or caps and that's the little plastic hook that I was talking about if you press it it will release the whole carriage uh, that's just one more thing to know now in order to work for my work to be easier I'm removing the plastic cover that goes around the capping stations and it also doubles up as the thing that holds the sponges the sponges that I'm still not able to get uh, for some weird reason but uh, the thing is about the sponges and the capping stations they're absolutely dead they need replaced uh, they need to be replaced <laughs> quite a few miles ago but uh, I was running a thing uh, where uh, in order to better explain things uh, you know how you look at a certain thing and for somebody it would be something that's obvious and it's not obvious for you now here uh, while I'm showing a third-party capping station and when you're installing them pay attention to where the studs are uh, otherwise you will try to install it upside down or something now these two caps they are identical absolutely and you can also pull out the um, this is wiper uh, if need be for replacing and maintenance purposes on when the machine switched off anyway uh, you remove the uh, oh sorry I was uh, speaking about the example so it is best to explain things when you can actually show something and specifically say you know let's say a scratched paint somebody who's never seen a scratched paint will look at the scratched surface and think oh there's nothing there but obviously when you show one against the other it it's becomes clearer and easier to explain and this is why as well i was trying to preserve as much of a gong build up in order to clearly demonstrate the difference uh, for the maintenance purposes of the mimaki now obviously i've just removed the first capping station uh, sorry the cap itself uh, and i'll try to install oh yeah i'm transferring a little rubber cap mm, cap yeah, I guess it's a cap. Uh, from the old one to the new one because it didn't come with it. Because uh, there is three three feet, I guess. Uh, three feet. Uh, and I'm trying to install it back only to realize somewhere around here maybe. There we go. The part that I've been sent does not match the one I have. So here I'm at least trying to demonstrate that there is while they're identical the underneath of it has a thicker connectors obviously I'm using the thinner ones and they do not match obviously at this point I'm thinking okay so I've paid some money for the part but it doesn't fit so what else am I able to do in this kind of situation and you would think that there is not too many options you obviously put everything back together and that's it Bob's your uncle nothing you can do but I figured that if the right print head has both channels but the left one doesn't then two caps being identical what if I just swap them around I'll I would take the right print head I'll put it on the left hand side and here is where the problem occurred mm -hmm. 
this little plastic piece is a part of the capping uh, of the cap base the thing that holds the caps uh, at their level uh, and I managed to break it off now the result of this on Friday evening would be that as you can see the print head is currently the, the sorry the whole carriage is currently out and I cannot station it back onto the uh, obviously the the caps so the machines currently powered off the carriage is out it's Friday evening which means even if I will place an order straight away with the teleportation delivery it would still take me at least two days two or three maybe four days to get a part and what does that mean it means that the uh, Mimaki is not doing their cleaning cycles and it's not even uh, pressed against the caps which means our my print heads both of them are currently being hung out to dry literally and there is no clue when the print heads will be coming so thanks for watching and Please stay tuned for the part 2 and maybe even part 3 of how I, how I managed to break a uh, double digit worth machine, sorry double digit is uh, as in thousands, and well I mean you can try to do the same but please don't, don't plan major repairs. Uh, rushed on Friday evening or at least make sure that you know what you're doing I like I do so yeah as I said thanks for watching stay tuned for a continuation of this time <laughs>